Welcome to The W. I'm Lucas Sico. And I'm Paul Julian. COVID has had a huge impact on the music industry, affecting everyone from the managers to the artists and even the listeners. There have been some changes that musicians have had to make in the past year, with many of them having to stop their tours and stay home. This has had both negative and positive effects. Take, for example, Gordy Quist from the Band of Heathens, who said that the band's income went to zero because they had to cancel a tour for their new album and other live gigs, which had made him nervous that he would lose his house. Meanwhile, Lars Ulrich, drummer for the band Metallica, said in an interview with CNBC that the band has accepted that they can perform to 20,000 or 50,000 people like they usually do. And they've also made compromises like hosting one of the first drive-in live concerts around the nation. The concert was broadcasted across hundreds of drive-in and outdoor theaters across the United States and Canada. The performance was filmed prior to the event and then streamed to all these locations on one night. The concert goers were able to listen to the show through the FM radio or over the faraway speakers. Drive-in concerts are one way some artists are maintaining revenue, but what about the smaller independent artists? And most importantly, what about the listeners? Well, surveys taken in the summer of 2020 show that overall music streaming has dropped by at least 6%. However, music video streaming has risen at least 8%. This shows that people don't want to just listen to music while locked in their homes. They want to watch something with it. So what does this data mean? It means that artists are going to have to start getting creative and producing content to accompany their audio. The music industry is changing in many ways, and it's changing fast. So artists need to adjust, or they won't be able to keep up. This has been Lucas Sica. And this is Paul Julian back to you in the studio.